Alrighty, and hello everybody. Um, so just as the first heads up, it's raining all the time now. So the, you might be able to hear rain. It might sound a little bit fuzzy. Oh, well, it happens. I'm sorry. But I got um, some actually new figures. I just sometimes forget about what I have on the way. Um, so I have two new figures here. These are not actually just old used figures, me re-reviewing them or something like that. These are actually new. This is from the Demon Slayer series. Um, I, if I'm not wrong, because I'm just reading the box, it, this is part of the Gem series. Um, but pretty excited to share them. I probably will not be getting more from this series, but I was still excited uh, nonetheless because of how cute these are. Um, and Demon Slayer was good, so, you know, sue me. But to get started, beep, 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 beep. It's a little baby Nezuko, um, but super cute. Now the like I, you can see, just the box itself is really small. Um, her little picture on the side. I do like the box design though. It's got all these cute little hexagons, and, like actual design to the box. Um, and this overall packaging is actually kind of nice, um, considering what you can get, but. Well, we're gonna open her up. Only three slices. Ooh. The top. Wow, wow. Now the box, I won't lie, had a little bit of weight to it. Now I think it's whatever this thing is at the bottom is heavy, not so much the figure. Now if you wanna take a look on the inside though at the inner packaging. That's actually kinda nice. So here she is though and the actual packaging itself. You can see she comes with like a, a giant like little bottom plate. And that. Let's see how many more slices. This is a weird spot to put tape on there. Well, let's see. Am I going to cut myself today? I don't know. Alright, well, the little bottom plate came out. This is actually not that heavy, so it must not have been this. But I guess this is just kind of like what you display them on. Pew. Pew pew. A little tiny baby. And she's just got one little plastic bag. Oh, that's not true. She's got two. Three. Three. One for this one piece of hair. Okay. And one for this other piece of hair. Pew. Look how teeny tiny she is though. She's just a little baby. Now I do see, um, when I was picking up the box initially, it felt heavy on the bottom. So I thought it was this because of like where it felt weighted. But it's definitely, she's got some weight to the bottom considering how small she is. She's not super heavy, this is still really light. Um, but like considering how small she is. But still pretty cute. Now I'm just trying to get a good look at the painting on this just because um, I think there are a lot of things that are very well done in this figure. However, it is very small and the pricing on this is not great. Um, this is like, it's about 50 and I was really hoping because the pictures, you know, they always make them look really nice, but you know, you can still hold out hope it actually looks that good. And I think for the most part, it's still nicely painted. Like there's more than one color being used in the actual fabric here the um her little kimono actually has like indents um they did paint her little toes there you go her little toes and her little fingers and they did do um like where she has like red nail polish and it's like red tinted on her fingers which makes sense now i do think that like the red on her toes looks kind of uh, tacky. <laughs> I don't know how to put it like that. Because it's so bright. I think they could have maybe used a lighter red. Um, the detailing on her face is still pretty nice though. And you can see that they actually kind of have it where her face is molded onto the little bamboo stick. It's kind of hit or miss. There's certain parts that are painted really well. There's certain parts that I think could be better. Um, a couple of the plastic molding... I think this is probably just something with the paint, um, where it's kind of 
blobby. Um, her hair color itself I think is nice because it's not just the brown at the bottom. You can see there's like little brown here. Um, this is the one that I noticed earlier. It looks like the paint literally um, melted into something. I don't know if you can see that there. But it's textured like as if like it was hot and it melted with some of the plastic so they just did something funky when they got disconnected. Um, you get the idea. Still though very cute. This is a nice little, it's a little palm sized little figure. And you know, still cute when you have her people placed up top. Um, I do think it's comparing it to the picture. Like especially, the big thing for me, I think is probably the nails. I do think they did a lot of good job with the painting and color mixing. There's a couple little tiny paint errors, but I think for the most part, like her skin is colored, uh, like they put pink hues in it. It's not just a flat, uh, pale. Um, in a couple parts it looks really nice, but I do think for the actual like little toes and fingernails, even if you just look kind of at the box art, piao. It's like a, um, almost like a orange red versus like red red, like highlight red, but very cute. Now we are going to set her to the side really quick because as I mentioned, I have a second one from this series. I'll put them together later. But, oh, piao, 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 I got Inosuke as well, because Inosuke is actually my favorite character from the show. Um, now I don't know, I th there might have been some other from ones from the series, but as I mentioned, they're pricey for how big they are, and I mean, I like the other characters, but I usually just like getting ones of the characters that I really like. Again, though, pretty nice boxing. I do think I like Nezuko's a little bit more, I think, because hers was more thematic, but this is still a nice boxing. Um, we gonna pop open. Probably similar situation. We got one, two, three. Ugh. There we go. A little bit of that top. Wow. Now again, though, we'll take a look at the inside of the actual little box. I, think, I like their packaging. Boom, packaging. Sha, 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 sha. What kind of, what kind of voodoo? They use two pieces of tape on this one? It just doesn't feel right cutting right at the corner. Like it's usually easier if you can cut like in the middle, whatever. So to of course start kind of similar with the last one. Bam, we got the plate. It's pretty cool though. It's got his swords on the bottom. I can't read Nippon, but that's okay. Just because we can do comparisons, because we got two. Yep, 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 yep. But, da -da 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 he is, of course, also in his own little plastic heaven. Oh, and he actually only has one bag. They really shoved it into his legs. But, I'm very excited about this. I, okay. They, even though, like I said, unfortunately, because these are small made and these are still made on a mass scale, I think that there are things that could probably be painted a little bit better on here. Um, but for the most part, not bad. Now, of course, then if we... Place him. Very fancy. I do, he fills out his plate. Um, but I think the nice thing with these figures, they're kind of made to kind of be held and your palm kind of look kind of cute if you pose with them and stuff. Alrighty, so some closer shots. Now, I think the mask itself is great. Um, they did highlights on the eyes. Um, the, you know, general blank, stupid expression that he has. Um, again, they actually did paint his nails so he's got little manicured nails here um <laughs> i think that's kind of funny uh and they did do it on all of them even his back little thumb um they did put a little bit of shading into the skin now there are some like little tiny scuffs and stuff i might have to try and go at that later um i like just the way that this pose looks in the hand like like the smaller um carving and detailing that they did on it. 
Again, I do think this paint is kind of hit or miss where some areas it's just flat and then other areas they actually paint it. This figure you can see a lot more of the like sealing or the melding of the pieces together. So uh, like here at the arm you can see that this is a piece and then his torso is a piece. But this is a good way of disguising it together so I don't actually mind this. Um, it's not so great right here because <laughs> it's just like um, the other place this is at is here and unfortunately like it's re it really stinks when there's stuff like this now I know that there's stuff that can't be avoided um, but at least in a lot of ways it is in the back minus his armpit seam let's see we got his little abs <laughs> uh, the bottom looks kind of funky but that's because it's meant to be flat so you know that what that's what's gonna happen um, which is weird because they still went into painting it and shading it. Um, and then his pants and his leggy legs, uh, his fur legs. There is some light shading here. It's a little bit harder to tell because this is so dark. Um, but for the most part, still pretty good. They did also, I realized, manicure his toes as well. That is just so funny to me. Um, but it is nice when like little tiny stuff like that gets like the gloss nails. Um, I do think for him, because he's kind of wild, it probably would have been funny if they, or like nice if they put like little dirt details maybe on the bottom. His shoes are really nicely done. Like, see how there's like dirt in there? Yeah, you can do the same for his feet, just a little bit. But the, they went hard on these shoes. <laughs> um, granted it's easy to do like a little dirt wash over, but... Overall, still very, very nice. And you place them on there. Then we bring up baby Nesco. Have them chilling together. Aww, we're cute. Um, also too, because I ordered, I guess because I pre-ordered these, um, I did get something else in the mail. I was hoping I would've gotten two, but you know, can't be spoiled. Uh, I got a pew pew. A little Onosuke keychain. Which, out of the two, I'm glad it was a Nosuke because he's my best boy. But, wow. I'll probably put this in my main bag. But, you know, a little keychain. Nothing fancy, but it's still cute. But yeah, um, so I'm glad I was able to actually present something new this week. I, honest to God, forgot because it's been forever. Because, like I said, unfortunately, COVID just kept pushing stuff back. Um, if you like this, um, maybe check out some of the other stuff that I got on my channel, or if there's other things that you want to see, um, let me know. I have, a uh, majority of my figures are posted on my Instagram, um, so I'd be more than happy to review any older ones, um, but yeah, um, next week I will have a second video that I do know that one is going to be a used, used figure. But uh, that one is not going to be a new figure, but still, it's going to be new for me, so still exciting. I wanted to put these out first because um, they are actually new, so I want to make sure I'm keeping that fresh as they come out. Um, I do know that there is going to be some actual other new stuff on the way for me. Um, but, you know, my memory is terrible, so I can't remember what it is. So look forward to that once it, once it comes. But yeah, thank you for coming, uh, watching my video. Uh, if you watch it all the way through, I really appreciate it. Um... And tell me what you think. I like, I honestly just care most if we see comments. I like talking to all y'all and everything once you do. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming and bye.